Hi class, this is actually going to be a pretty short video for 10.2 um, and I just want to show you how to do in StackCrunch our equation, which was, you could kind of see it in our video for 10.1, but I want to make sure we know a little bit more about um, these lines of best fit. So I'm going to share my screen again, here, share, and we're in StackCrunch here. So what we're looking at in 10.2 is the line of best fit, just a lot more detail about that. Okay, so we have this data in here, and I'm going to go to stat, and I'm going to go to regression and simple linear. Same I went to for 10.1. I'm going to pick my X and my Y values. I'm going to leave everything else the same and compute here. Okay, so same place as 10.1. It's really um, calculated exactly the same. But when we're in here, we're not so much looking at our T and our P and deciding if it's low enough. Um, we're actually looking up here at that regression result. And we're also looking at the, the, the scatter plot. Okay, so I want you to understand what a residual is and a couple other concepts. So we have this line of best fit. And the way that that is found is it's finding the lowest um, area or distance between each point. So if I put a value into this equation that I'm given, oh look, if I move on there, it shows it even better. So that's my equation of my line of best fit. If I put a value in for x, so notice the x is on the second term, that's it's just the way StatCrunch writes it, which is backward from um, probably every other technology that you're using. So what this is saying is, if I maybe had somebody that we wanted to estimate that was at, oh, I don't know, 4.2, we would, could look at the actual value, which would be have to be given, and then we could estimate using this equation by putting the 4.2 into x, timesing by that 3.64 number, and then adding that negative 11, and that would give me an estimation. And a residual is subtracting your actual and your predicted value. Okay, that's a residual. So again, you're subtracting actuals from these estimations. And that becomes important because you want the lowest possible residuals um, in order to have that line of best fit be the best you can. So if I'm running a business and this is predicting my sales, I want the, the best outcome. And so we wanna be able to get the best line of fit there, okay? Um, so that I can predict future values. Again, so um, we're in that simple linear. So here's the equation. And again, it's written a little weird. It's like the number and then variable one. It should be saying like times right there, x. And so this is our slope, and this is our y-intercept. So it's just written different here. You could easily do the a line of best fit on a graphing calculator in Desmos, um, in Excel. It's pretty quick in other places. And if you already know that, that's fine as well. But you should already know how to do this um, and be able to get that as well. And just a quick review, what does this P tell me if my critical yeah, I want it to be, um, our critical value is like 0 0.05. Then this is high, meaning there really isn't a relationship between these. Okay. So um, just for this specific uh, example here. All right, and it also does say slope and intercept, and this is our standard error. So I guess it does give you slope and call it y-intercept right there too. Well, it doesn't use y. Okay. So, um, I think that's pretty good. You will notice the little Y hat. Um, that is just representing your um, estimation. So, you'll see a little, uh, like a arrow tip, that's, that's called a hat. Um, you'll notice that on some of the examples just for estimation, but mostly you're finding an equation of best fit and you're estimating by putting it in for X or Y. So just be careful which value you're given to use to predict. 
All right, so hopefully this little quick video on how to do this on StatCrunch will help you finish your homework. There are more videos on the concept um, in your lecture section as well.